This is Nollywood City TV. Nollywood City TV. The best in African entertainment. Subscribe now. Business interest. Chief Bobo KK has an overwhelming interest in this company. And besides, he is my personal friend. And I cannot see I, I cannot see this magazine ruining his political ambition. Sir, your personal interest cannot stand between us and journalistic ethos. The pursuit of truth remains the basic attraction of good journalism. That girl got those facts at great risks to her life. Chief Okeke is a dupe and a fraud and should be exposed. Who are you to judge? Who are you to judge his character? Sir, such people cannot be allowed to come into public office through election. And the only way of stopping him from running the election is by exposing him. I'm sorry, sir. It is either we publish or I resign. Look, Mr. Giwa, Mr. Giwa. For robots to carry kids. I asked and they directed me to this compound. Mm -hmm. Uh what's your number? Uh sit down. <laughs> My daughter, you look very tired. From the look of things, it seems you are coming from a very far place. Eh? Anyway, uh, where is this boy? Let him get you something so that you will drink and cool down. Eh, uh, Aloy! Aloy show, so. <laughs> the, the, This boy must be a very rascal boy. Eh? Anyway, my daughter, don't worry. He will soon be here. You understand? Can you imagine a boy who was sent to look after his grandfather in retirement. Who <laughs> will maybe go? My daughter, this world has completely spoiled. That's completely spoiled. Don't worry, Papa. Please, is this his house? Robert. Hmm? My daughter, let me tell you something. You don't pump questions like that. You see, when I was working with the railway, before I retired in 1956, Ogam, Ogam, my boss, they call him Mr. Whitewood, he used to tell us that before you ask any question, you must ask question diplomatically. Hmm? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Whitewood, look, my daughter. Mr. Whitewood is the only nice European man who came to Nigeria. I'm sorry, sir. It's because of my anxiety. Mm. It's very important that I see him. I've been to Bini and Onicha before coming here. Bini and Onicha? To look for what? Eh? Do you exactly know who you are looking for? Yes, sir. His name is Robert. Robert Ukereke. Yeah. Don't to click. Uh, and uh, what is your own name? Angela. Angela, Papa. Oh, Angela. And you are looking for robot. Robot Mwam. Eh? Robot Mwam. 
Are you sure it is my own robot? Or which robot are you looking for? I'm coming from Lagos, and I have a very important message for him. <laughs> you are coming from Lagos? Okay, hold on. Eh? Chigi and Megogi expose. Chigi and Megogi expose. After all, robot Mwam is living in Lagos. Why should you go to uh, Bini and Onisha? Hmm? Gago do Mwam. He did quite sure. He brought the Okwe Nwa. Now, about Kli Kli ni Mobut. Now, Chow Mwoke Hage Ketchi Ketchi. Are you sure that you are not one of those ladies that used to run around looking for men they will tie? Eh? No, sir. If you can help me, please, please do. It's very important I see him. Eh. Then I, uh, I can help. I can. But except you prove to me that you need my help. Let me tell you, my daughter. When I was working with the railway before I retired, life was not easy. Even after fighting the war in Burma in 1938 and Congo War in 19, uh, 19 Guinea. Anyway, and I crowned it up with the civil war in 1967. So, my daughter, you can see that I have seen so many things in this world. So, except you explain to me properly, uh, then I think I can render you some help. It's okay, sir. I can explain everything. Uh -huh. You see, my mother told me that it's a long time ago. What happened? Have you reported to the police? I mean, how come he got missing? Who? And what police? Uh -uh. I came back to meet this note by Angela saying she's gone to look for her father. I don't understand. What happened to him? Oh, my husband. Please, my dear, let's go in. I'll explain everything to you, okay? But the note says, or oh, didn't she write it? But this is her handwriting. Okay. Can someone tell me what is going on here? Madam, now who you identify? I'm looking for Robert Ukereke. My Nini Kakereke. Now be up for this place, ah, Madam. This is number here. four, Hopewell Avenue. Now here the man they leave now. Madam, me, I now sabi read down for Turenji. Sam Sam, Megida and Nang, I be Alahaji. I now be Kekereke. Oh yeah, let me go and ask somebody. Babu, 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 Madam. Uga, I busy well, well. You, I now fit to go inside. So what do you want me to do now? Uh, you, I go talk to me who you identify. I go farm ask for that by for inside. You 
I say in a Yamirika Kereke I define? Rob Botu Kereke, blockhead. Madam. Now, Kereke, now we can Kereke. Maybe is he in? Hey. That man, I now be here again. No, I don't want to go big man place. That man, I be big man, not be small. See him? Ogafo, like say na a hey Victoria Island. That man, I believe now. Like the address, I be this one. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, madam. I just want to be happy. God bless me, bless you, bless you, madam. I like that one, my love. Yeah. Hi. So you really want to see my husband then? Eh? Yes, madam, it's important. So where is this Angela from? I stay here in Lagos, madam. And you chased him back to his house after office hours? I don't know the office, madam. But you said your message is from your company. How come you don't know the office? Answer me, young lady. You s I, I don't really know how to explain this, but I'm sure he'll understand. It's really important and urgent. Anyway, take a seat. I will call him for you, but make sure, make sure you would not disturb my husband for nothing. Angela, what are you doing here? By the way, why did you abandon your job? I've been trying to get, yes? Are you Robert Kiriki? What kind of question is that? Please, Chief, answer me. Are you? Of course I am. Bob for Robert, Okeke for Kiriki. Those are my names. Tell me, by the way, how did you find these names? These were names I dropped two years back. The young girl, what's wrong with you? I'm your daughter. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are you gone mad or something? Do you remember being in 1974? Yes, I, yes, I do. I was there about that time. Yes. And you know a woman called Dorothy Bino. Yes, um, yes, you remain in my mind, yes. She was pregnant for you. Mm. Well, she said something like that, but that was 22 years ago. That was a long time. a minute. Don't tell me that Dorothy is your mother. She is. I'm your daughter. I never knew I had another father until last week. Something serious happened and I was told. I was heartbroken, but I resolved to find you at all costs. Angela, 
you, my daughter, can, can this be true? your mother. How was she? I left home. I have nowhere else to stay. What nonsense is going on here? Daniel, yes. how can you believe such a story? You see, these Lagos girls are gold diggers. She knows you're such a rich man and she wants a piece of the action, that's all. She... She couldn't have cooked up the story. You see, it all fits in so perfectly. The time it happened, the place it happened. I think she's my flesh and blood. I, I can feel it in my bones. She doesn't even look like you. Her eyes. Her eyes. That's exactly how my grandmother looked. So you actually had an affair and you never told me? So that it's, it's, it, it's not like that. Um, it, it was just a fling. And, uh, but I, I never expected that after all these years, someone would come looking for me, remind me. So what are you going to do about her if she's actually your daughter? She's going to live with us. In this house? She has no other place to go to. Besides, it was not her fault. Mm? Susan? Please, Susan, come here. Sit down. You see, I, I know exactly how you feel, and... Um, you see, I have known Angela for for a while. She she works in my office. She's a very hardworking girl, and I have every reason to believe she's decent. Now, listen to me. If she's taken all those years to look for me, her father, what do you think I ought to do? Throw her out? I think the best thing I can do for her is to give her the love she's missed all these years. That's why I want her to stay with us. Again, listen, Susan. If she were very comfortable where she came from, she wouldn't have been looking for me. She wouldn't have ended up here. And I think what you can do for her is to be a good mother to her. Listen, Susan, yeah, I know. Look, I, 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 in with time, you'll get to know what I'm talking about. I know you can do this, Susan. Listen, I know you love me, you've always loved me, and this is one thing I think you can do for me. Please, Susan, give me your word you're going to do this. Promise me you can do this thing for me. Come on. This is serious, but your father of 22 years is no longer your father. 
Please, kids, stop reminding me of that devil. Hey, what a small word we're living in. So what are you going to do now about the story you wrote about your real father? I don't know. I just don't know. How can I destroy my own father? Stop blaming yourself. You didn't know. By the way, have you told Frank about it? I haven't even seen him yet. Kate, hmm? I want to remove it. What? What do you mean? You said no before. I know, but... And Frank accepted, so why remove it now? It ha I, I want to remove it. It has to go. It just has Angela, to go. what has come over you? Huh? Never mind. Just help me do it, that's all. Well, it's your life. I only hope you know what you're doing. Very sure. Trust me. Hello? Is that the 12 bar chambers, please? Okay. Is that you, honey? So you no longer recognize my voice. Frank, you asked too many questions. Where have I been? What have I done to you? Where am I calling from? I'll answer all your questions. But first, you have to meet me. Yes, number eight at the Mola. Crescent, Victoria Land. Yes. I'll tell the gate man. Okay. I'll be waiting. Love you too. Bye. Happening. Who lives here? And what's the meaning of the note you left for me? I'm sorry, Frank. I know you don't like being kept in the dark, but this is quite different. Baby, you look sick. You act cagey. What's happening? It's a long story, Frank. Let's go in and sit down. I'll explain everything. No, don't bother. At least not yet. I've been through hell, Frank. But finally, I've located my father. Mr. Fusa Osage is not my biological father. Yes. Yes, y your mom tried to say something about that, but I, I didn't understand. So, well, who is now uh, your new father? Well, all I can tell you now is that Chief Bobo Keke is my real father. And this is his house that I now live in. This is incredible. But how come, well, why are they telling you now and you believe them? Frank. There's something I've been hiding from you. What is it? 
Mr. Osage had always wanted me. Wanted you? What do you mean, wanted you? You don't understand. When I said I had been through hell, what did you think I was talking about? My so-called father wanted me in bed by all means. Jesus Christ! Well, that explains certain things. I now understand. And that is why I had to remove the pregnancy. You removed what? I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Angela, have you gone crazy? Please, please, please. Stop these silly jokes, okay? It's the truth, Frank. I couldn't keep it. You killed my child, my son. And it sounds so simple to you, Angela. It was not yours, Frank. Liar. Even if you didn't want to buy me anymore, must you kill my child, my son? I said it was not yours. Liar! Bloody liar! So who was it? Huh? Who was the baby? You still don't understand. Mr. Osage owned it. He raped me. I couldn't carry his baby. I felt like carrying a devil inside me. Angela, do you understand what you're telling me? That you have been sleeping with your father and you're not ashamed telling me? Oh, you are a rotten idiot. I don't think I want to have anything to do with you. Yeah. Frank, listen to me. He raped me. Don't you understand? I can't listen to a chip lay. A murderer like you, I didn't know you were so inhuman, so so dirty. Don't you ever come near me again, bitch. Frank! 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 Don't leave me. What do you expect me to do? We can still sort things out. There's nothing to sort out. A false house, I simply cannot live with an animal. A false You fooled me. You broke our oath. Sorry. You dehumanized me. I'm oh. sorry. Professor. You had me. You had my daughter too by force, Defosa. You killed my spirit. Pay for this, I promise you! Look, Dorothy, it's the devil. You just have to forgive me. We can solve it. Get the devil out of me! You are an abomination. I shall be avoided. Therefore, sir, where is my daughter? Sure, you're just. 
just pulling my leg, Angela. How do you expect me to believe Bob Okeke is your father? Well, that's the truth, sir. Now, let's be more serious. You want this man's money. You want to marry him. He has proposed to you and you've agreed, isn't it? How can that be, sir? You know Chief Okeke is married and I have a fiancé. God! Look, Angela. If you were not someone I had a lot of regard for, I would have been thrown out of this office immediately. You know what we went through to get those materials? Then in your absence, the chairman summoned me over the story. He doesn't want it published, but I want it published. We had a two-hour heated argument and I won. And now you want this publication stopped because Bob Okeke is your runaway father? Angela, why do you allow yourself to be used so cheaply? What do you mean? How much did they pay you for this nonsense? Nobody paid me anything, Mr. Giwa. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. I took the one week leave for me to go and look for him. And until I got to his house, I didn't even know he was the one. Can't you understand? It's my biological father. And I never knew anything about it until recently when my foster father started misbehaving. So, put yourself in my position. I see. You are yet to convince me anyway. What about the ethics of the job? To tell the truth no matter whose ox is God. Angela, you are so young, but you are highly respected in this establishment. Why? Because you are so upright and courageous at the job. Remember the controversial Umaru story? Or is it the Ladipo saga? You helped to do the stories and you stood stoutly behind me. And now this. A story you wrote and because it affects you, you want to discard all principles and jettison it? I tell you, it's not worth it. I feel for you. But you know very well that as far as the truth is concerned, I'm unshakable. I have to meet with the I have come to say sorry for everything. Now that you understand everything, I, I want you to forgive me. You have no conscience, Mr. Osage. You mean you can still stand my presence? I am still concerned about you. Think about yourself instead. I am okay. Now I have a real father, a much more responsible and respectable man. Please excuse me. Have you seen your mother? About what? I am looking for her. She has left the house with a desua. Oh, so you mean you have driven away my own mother no, too? No, I did not drive her. She just parked and left. She refused to listen to me. No, Angela, I, I am so lonely now. So, so, so lonely. Of course. No normal person would want to stay. People like you don't need company. You deserve to be lonely. Very lonely. You, Mr. Osage, I closed chapter. Angela! 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 What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Oh, God!
you not fit to live on the face of the earth. You deserve to be lonely, very lonely. You, Mr. Osage, are a closed chapter. Oh, come on, Angela. What are you still doing here? Are you still crying over this incident? I told you before, this is a very small thing. I didn't kill anybody. This is business. I didn't steal. Listen, this... Angela, in business, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And that is what business is all about. Look, your father, Chief Bob Okeke, can always handle situations like that. This is why I'm in business. Most people who are faint-hearted can be in business. So these things happen and they are broken. But not for folks like us, no. So this is nothing to worry about, right? If it is a price I have to pay for finding you, my daughter, then it's a very cheap price. So, wipe your tears, go and sleep. Hmm? Go and sleep. Please don't Pardon me. All right, listen. Yeah, it was listen. even against my will that no. I did it. Come on, daughter, listen. It's in your line of business. Right? You're a journalist. So this is nothing to worry about. Oh, by the way, you may not even know that Chief Ozumba, who owns this publication, is a personal friend of mine. We have discussed this issue, and he has promised to remedy it by the next publication. <laughs> so what is there to worry about? What matters to me now is your joy, your happiness, and for that I'm willing to pay me. Election or no election, I will always remain Chief Bob. Okay? And you know what that means? It means I can always handle any situation at all. So, I don't see why you should be bothering yourself. Sitting down crying. Come on. Come on, daughter. It's time to go to bed. Come on. Get up. Get up. Yeah. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. The kids will take care of themselves, huh? Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you. If everybody in business has got to get out the press of this, then we shouldn't be in business at all. Hmm. 100 million fraud exposed. Angela, 
I'm terribly sorry. Please forgive me. Frank, please go and leave me alone. Darling, please. I can't concentrate on anything anymore. It's been, it's been hell for me. Darling, please. I'm not your darling. Not your darling at all. I am a bitch. A cheap lay, remember? I was out of my mind when I said those things. I'm sorry. I've got a new life to live, and I wouldn't want to be disturbed. Please leave now before I embarrass you. Leave. I'm really sorry, baby. But I was so confused. I had made plans for the baby. I'm sorry too, but I had to do it. I couldn't carry that devil's baby in my room. Daddy, welcome. Auntie, Hello, you're welcome. Hello, my dear. How are the office today? Fine, Daddy. Hello, young you? man. Are you looking for me? Daddy, this is Frank, my fiancé. Frank, my daddy, and my stepmom, Auntie Susan. Oh, I see. She's told me quite a bit about you. Please sit down. But why did you have to sneak in here in our absence? Uh, well, Susan, um, could you take this absence for me, please? Angela, give me a glass of cool juice, please. Oh yeah, young man, I hear that you and my daughter plan to get married. Yes, sir. We've been engaged for about a year now. A year? Well, that's a, that's a long time. You see, I care very much about the comfort and the happiness of my daughter. She happens to be very, very special and dear to me. Uh, I hear you're a lawyer? Yes, sir. I'm with uh, Otuoba Chambers. Otuoba Chambers. That's um, along the to the airport. So, how is business these days? Well, not bad, sir, but it could be better. Have you ever toyed with the idea of um, owning your own chambers? Ah, that's the dream of every lawyer, sir, but it's usually not easy and cheap. It's very expensive. All right, so... Um, Could you do me a proposal along that line and submit it to my office in the next 48 hours? See what we can do about it. Daddy! Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I want to ensure that my daughter gets the best. Um, all right, I guess I'll leave in two of you. I have some business meeting to attend in the next 30 minutes. Thank you very much. Oh, um, by the way, could you look into my office tomorrow and pick up a check for a new car? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so Daddy. Much, Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay, bye bye, Frank. Love you. Best lady. Ken, I'm glad it's all Ken, about. Ken, Ken. Yeah. What's up now? No. I'm glad it's all about. Oh, yes. yes. It's been a happy day. Yes. Yes. For you. <laughs> for this rascal here. <laughs> Who's calling someone? Well, I'm for, um, for myself. All right? Thanks very much. Yeah. I, I, I love your dad's style. He is a jolly good fellow. <laughs> I've been watching him. He's enjoying himself so well. Okay? Take care of this. Let me join him. All right. 
Team D. Yes! <laughs> Welcome, man. Yes. Oh, uh, please enjoy yourself. Yes. Yes. There's so yes. much to drink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fred. A team. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. It was a beautiful Thank wedding. You. Thank you. And I knew it was going to be beautiful. You see, both of you make a perfect match. But if you ask me, this is the wedding of the year. Hmm? Definitely. This is Frank. This is my daughter. Take good care of her. I will. Me pour myself on the back. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, your mommy is here. Ah. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Nollywood City TV. The best in African entertainment.